My name is Xing Yun. I'm a first year PhD student in Tripoli, the University of Manchester. I'm going to talk about my research, Terahertz spectroscopy, today. Some of you might have heard the word terahertz wave. So hertz is the unit of frequency, and one terahertz is equal to one times ten to the twelve hertz. And the word terahertz range often refers to 0.1 to 10 terahertz. In spectra, you can find it between millimeter wave and infrared wave. Terahertz wave is sensitive to semiconductor conductivity, and that's why we use it to study our semiconductor samples. In conventional way, if we want to know sample conductivity, we need to put that sample into a circuit. And that might damage the sample. But in our terahertz spectroscopy, we use a terahertz wave to pass through the sample. By analyzing this change in terahertz pulse, we can extract the sample properties. Imagine talking to someone from the other side of the wall. The voice they hear is not quite the same with the one you make. Similarly, in this terahertz wave, there will be an amplitude and phase change. And from those changes, we can extract the sample conductivity and sample properties, including carrier lifetime, recombination mechanism, carrier concentration, mobility, and so on. There are two ways of doing terahertz spectroscopy. One of them is time domain spectroscopy. Another one is optical pump terahertz pulse spectroscopy. In TDS, the source generates the terahertz pulse. Then this pulse transmitted to the sample before being detected. Then we use the same setting to get a reference pulse. By comparing these two pulses, we can get the sample conductivity out from this equation. OPDP is a bit more complicated. In OPDP, we use a high energy pulse to excite the sample first. Then, after a certain time delay, we take the transmitted pulse. So, OPTP is also called time resolved terahertz spectroscopy. It allows us to study the carrier dynamics. And in all of we are trying to couple terahertz pulse into one of our microscopy systems. This can bring the terahertz spectroscopy resolution down to nanoscale. Overall, terahertz spectroscopy is a relatively new characteristic method. By using it, we can study the sample properties without damage the sample. Currently, we are collaborating with other organizations and trying to optimize semiconductor performance. That's the end of this talk. Hope you all enjoy.